Hey there. Looks like you're a new character. And you chose a priest. Do you know you don't know why? Would you like some help? All right, let's see what we can do. Hey, and thanks for tuning in for another By The Way tutorial. This is going to be the first of a series of tutorials for a beginner's guide to Warcraft. This is assuming that you just picked up the game, you just installed it, and you want to fire it off, and you want to you want to just get into it and start playing, but you're not exactly sure what you need to do. Obviously, the first part of this is creating your first character. Um, I've broken this up into a couple of steps. The first one is Horde or Alliance. The way it works out is the alliance is mainly humans uh, with the occasional space goat and werewolf. Um, the horde is more of the, the bad guys, essentially. Monsters, beasts, things like that. I know a lot of horde players that would agree, disagree with me saying that the horde is the good guys, but as a general breakdown, alliance is the good guys, horde is the bad guys. So once you've made that decision, and you've got to keep in mind that if you are playing the game with other people that you know in real life that are currently playing the game, you will not be able to communicate between um, all factions. If, if all your friends are playing Alliance and you pick Horde, outside of Battle.net, you will not be able to communicate with them. You won't be able to do quests with them. You won't be able to do dungeons with them. So keep that in mind when you decide which one you're going to pick. After that, after you decided Alliance or Horde, not saying either one is better than the other, but it's up to you, total preference, uh, you have to decide what type of character you're looking into. Uh, I've broken them up into two different categories. They come, they essentially it is the melee, hand to hand combat, and you're right in the middle of the fight. You use weapons or claws to attack. Uh, your primary stats are going to be agility and strength. Um, and then the casters. You rarely, rarely will ever be hand-to-hand -hand with somebody. Um, you're outside the battle. You use magic as your weapon with the exception of one um, class that I have characterized as a caster, which really isn't. But I'll get into that. Uh, your primary stats are going to be intellect and spirit. You, you're going to be using magic versus physical damage as a caster. The breakdown is as follows. If you would like a melee character, uh, I'm just going to do this as um, uh, on the Horde side only because I know those characters a little bit better. Um, and your race is going to depend on, your class is going to depend on what race you, cho you choose. Like obviously you can see here that orcs cannot be paladins, they cannot be druids, they cannot be priests. Same with the death uh, or the undead. They can't be shaman. They can't be druids. They can't be paladins. So if you choose on a specific uh, class, which would be warrior, paladin, hunter, rogue, priest, etc., you're you're going to be limited to what you can select as as your race. So melee. I'll go through the melee first. The melee are warriors. Are going to be using swords, two-handed swords, one-handed swords, and shields. Attacking. Um, Rogues, rogues are going to use swords, maces, daggers, fast attacks. Uh, the druid, one of the specs of the druid is the pharaoh druid. It's going to use, it's going to turn into a cat or it's going to turn into a bear. It's going to do physical damage. Uh, you're going to be right in the fight. You're going to be doing it that way. The paladins, even though there is a holy paladin, you still attack with a weapon and some spells, but mainly your weapon. And the one of the specs of the shaman will use physical attacks versus magical attacks. Uh, the other option is, which every race can be, is a Death Knight. But assuming you just picked up the game and you're firing it up and you're just playing the first World of Warcraft, none of the expansions, you will not have the option of being a Death Knight until uh, later on in the game. So, all right. So melee is not your thing. You're looking more of a caster. You want to use magic. Well, now you have the options of a warlock, a mage, a priest, 
and the druid and the shaman both have a magical um, talent tree, which will be explained further in one of the next episodes. But uh, that they'll use magic instead of uh, the druid instead of turning into a cat will will use magic to attack rather than physical damage. Same thing with the shaman. Uh, the only exception to this is the hunter, and I classify the hunter as a caster because the hunter's melee abilities are just garbage. They are not meant to use weapons with hand-to-hand combat. They are meant to have their pet attack out in front of them, and they stand back with a gun or a bow, and they attack with a gun or the bow. The problem with uh, the gun or the bow is once the the monster that you're attacking gets too close, you switch to your melee, your uh, your sword or your axe. You, you don't continue to shoot with your bow or your gun. So that's why I classify them as a caster because they stand back. They don't actually interact with a direct hitting motion of, of whatever monster you're attacking. Now you've decided I want to be melee, I want to be caster. You've decided that. Now it comes down to the race. And this is going to be purely based on Obviously, what one you chose. If you chose warrior, every single thing can be a warrior. Every single thing can be a hunter. So if you chose one of those two, you're set because you can pick anybody. You can pick any class, and they will be both. Uh, For instance, if you chose shaman, uh, on the horde side at least, orcs can be shamans. Undead cannot be. Torrens can be shamans. Trolls can be shamans. Blood Elves cannot, and Goblins. Goblin will be only available once you've purchased the Cataclysm expansion, but uh, they also can be Shamans. Blood Elves will only be available once you have uh, purchased the Burning Crusade expansion, which is the first expansion. But um, if you only have the first one, assuming you do, you have the first four to choose from. Orc, Undead, Tauren, Troll, Human, Dwarf, Night Elf, and gnome. Now, you've chosen your side, you've chosen melee or caster, and you say you've chosen shaman. So, you can be an orc, you can be a tauren, or you can be a troll. It's going to be purely based on, I mean, there's other factors that factor in. Uh, their racials, what uh, each one gets a specific um a specific bonus to being that race uh, and picking them uh, versus the other ones. Uh, so that, as a first-time player, is not that big of an influencing factor. That So just basically make your decision on which one you are going to want to stare at for a very long time uh, or which one looks the coolest to you uh, because you you first character, you're going to be looking at it slowly leveling through uh, the starter zones in the first level, the first areas. It's going to take you a while. You're going to be looking at this thing for a while. So pick the one that looks the best to you. Uh, for me, I uh, I prefer the Torn Shaman, personally, but that is just me. Pick the one that is going to be first off, the race that can be the class that you've chosen and the uh, the one that looks best because obviously there's multiple of each one. Uh, druids, for instance, uh, trolls and tauren can be druid, so it's a comes down to whatever one you prefer. Um, now that you've decided on your your alliance or horde, you've cha- you've taken a side, taken a faction, you've decided melee or caster, you've decided on your class, warrior, druid, priest, rogue, etc., and you've decided on a a race now you can fine tune it and change around the way they look this is purely you can randomize it you can do whatever you want doesn't matter make it look obviously like I said you're going to be looking at this thing for a while at least the back side of it for a while so just get it the way you want it to look lastly is the name you can hit randomize pick a few names the names that are randomized will be specific to that race but obviously uh Majority of these are going to be picked or chosen already, so you can't you can't duplicate names. So randomize a couple of times if you want to name it whatever. Use your name or some variant of your name. Anything you can't change the name. 
after it's been created. So pick something that you like. After that is all done, hit accept, join the world of Warcraft, and stay tuned for the next episode where I will explain further the uh, starter zones and what to do once you get into the starter zones. Uh, like always, this is Dave from By The Way. Good luck and have fun.